see me? Wait. Please, I need your help. I don't have much time. They want to erase me. They want to erase who I am. They're coming. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to République. République, I can't say that enough. It's so beautiful in, in French, although my French is bad. This is Roger, or for the Splish Splash, making this review, playing it on the PS4. And uh, you've just met Hope, the main character, her distress call to you guys to help her out, and you're playing as her in this game. Now, this game, Republic, Republic is an episodic action adventure stealth game. And it's developed by Camouflage and Logan Games, and it has been published by Gung Hoo Online Entertainment. You should remember that this game was originally announced for iOS devices, but it has been since then expanded also to Android, uh, Microsoft Windows and uh, OS X. Now, I am playing here again on PlayStation 4, so this is the PlayStation 4 version that contains all five episodes. So you communicate with the main character here, the young girl Hope. You do that through her phone or computer in order to help her to escape. Now, the player can therefore control surveillance cameras in this fictional totalitarian state uh, of Republic in order to monitor the, the actions of Hope and also help her, you know, to hack into various electronic devices. There's an interface that the player will use here, which is called the OmniView software. And as you see, it allows uh, the players to lock and unlock doors and distract the patrolling enemies. There will be quite a few of them and also in order to obtain information. Also in some situations the player will have to upgrade their OmniView in order to you know get the higher versions. So you can access areas and nodes that has you know higher or stronger security. Republic takes place in a facility that is called Metamorphosis. And if you guys have ever checked out the book 1984 by George Orwell if you haven't, you gotta do that. It's a classic. Uh, then I think you will know what I'm talking about here when it comes to this game. I feel there's a lot of, you know, similarities there with this game. Or actually the story of the game. In this facility, the Prizrak, which is the people of this uh, totalitarian state, they are performing some, you know, mysterious experiments on, like, prequels. That is the people who were born and raised inside of this actual facility. And one of these pre-call women, uh, which is Hope, she is, by the way, voiced by an actress called Rena Strober. And she managed to contact the player here through the phone. That's how we all start the game. And, uh, of course, request you to help her to escape from this metamorphosis. Hope will eventually get uh, or receive assistance from Cooper. He is voiced by James Holloway, by the way. He's an American that works within this facility of metamorphosis as a priest rack. A pretty good Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign got this game going quite a few years back now. And I've read that Ryan Payton, who's he's the founder, by the way, of Camouflage, he uh, started the project and he said he wanted to stop complaining about the lack of read games on mobile and start making a, you know, a really good one. That was like the initial kind of kickstarting when it comes to inspiration to do this game, I guess. The game is, by the way, remastered and it has been done in the Unity 5 engine. And as you see, I think it looks pretty well. It looks good, I must say, here on the PS4. Another plus here is also that I got into the game pretty fast. Uh, sometimes, you know, when you are dealing with controls, you, you tend to have to go back into the options menu and check them out over again. But here, it, I think they've done that pretty good. So that is on the plus side, I must say. Uh, it takes some time to get used to this short delay that you see happens when you're changing the uh, perspective or actually going you know toggling through the cameras on the wall so that is a kind of different uh, camera view perspective that in some parts of the game made me walking with hope into walls and not seeing really where she was but you will learn that in time as well so i guess now you start to wonder what do i think about the game well initially i have to say that i really like the start of the game the kind of uh how they build up the story, how we get to know this young girl, and uh, also, you know, trying to 
get her past all these guards and everything in this very stealthy game. Now, the thing though later on when you played uh, longer into the game is that I think, for me at least, it becomes a bit repetitive. Uh, I would have liked to have some maybe some more variation overall, but you know, I'm not very, very used to play this kind of game, so I'm, I'm taking a kind of uh, low profile here when it comes to that. But after I did this review and I checked more about the game, I've seen that some other gamers and, and players have been saying like the same thing. I guess uh, the uh, thought about the game, the way they have put it together and present it, it's, it's very attractive and as you see, it's a good looking game. Uh, maybe the story could have developed even more. I mean, you, you feel that from the start that it has a huge potential and maybe that's the thing that I kind of miss later on in the game. This is a game where you definitely explore, you observe and I kind of like that. And also the fact that most part of the game you can also decide whether you will, you know, skip some parts, run through or, you know, take it slow and explore more. In other stealth games you might have a bigger arsenal, you know, weapons that can protect you, but here in uh, Republic, Hope doesn't have that much and uh, she can pick up things like pepper spray, tasers and, and she also got a landmine that will put uh, the Prisrak to sleep. Uh, and if you saw earlier in the gameplay, she can also pickpocket from the Prisrak if she's clever enough. But be aware of the fact that for every item that Hope picks up, you know, just to barely fend off being caught here, uh, the Pierce Rack, they get taser proof armor and nerve gas. So you have to play this carefully because it often means that the feel of hope is being very much outnumbered and outgunned in the game. Towards the end of the video, I want to say, despite its mobile game roots, the game works well. And I said it early in the video, I think you get into the game quite easy. And uh, the gameplay in itself is uh, satisfyingly simple. And I think that's on the very much plus side of things here when it comes to the game. Again, I think some part, you know, becomes a bit repetitive. But as a whole, the game is quite uh, interesting, I would say. And I can recommend it for you guys if you want to check it out. And this was for the Splish Splash or Roger uh, taking a look into the game, a review of this game. And I hope you had a great time watching. Let me know what you think if you try the game. Thanks for now. See you soon again in another video. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe to this wonderful YouTube channel and also get into the buttonsmashes.com and check out the great articles, reviews, videos. It's all about gaming, anime, film, whatever so. And we have some great podcast podcasters on this site as well. So go there, check it out and become a part of the family.